Hi, my name's Roy from UVL Designs. Today's tutorial is going to be regarding the Alfie WordPress theme um, and how to create their portfolio pages. I'm going to show you how to recreate this page. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do pay, to do the two page layout or the version two because all it is is a switch of a template, which I'll show you how to do anyway. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to get the left and right columns um, and all the rest will just come into place so uh, while we're at it let's get underway here's uh, carrying off from our last tutorial so far we haven't got any widgets in place all we've done is a front page the about us services in the team so let's go off to the admin area right from here we go to pages Add a new page, call it portfolio. Um, for the this, I'll call it portfolio grid. Portfolio. Oh, it's already there. Look, grid, and we're having a four column grid. Now, this is where I was uh, talking about the templates. You have two column portfolio, three column portfolio, four column portfolio now that's the the second version even though it's at the top and you've got the portfolio grid two column portfolio grid three column portfolio grid three columns I'll say and then four so basically we're going to use this one today so publish go off to the menus and then just insert as I'm not doing a drop down because I'm only showing you how to do one layout. Press uh, submit and then we should have a page. There it is, nothing's on it. All we've got is all because we haven't even set any categories yet. So we'll go off to portfolio, portfolio categories, and we'll just add a few categories. We'll just call it category one, category two. Um, you can, even though I'm not typing in a slug, make sure yours does. I mean, it should do it by default. For instance, this is on category hash two, uh, dash two. That'd be dash one. Make sure it does it by default. If it doesn't do it by default, put it in category three. That'd be one more category four. So that's uh, our category is done. Now. Add new for adding a new portfolio. I'm just going to go portfolio one. Now that section is your name, and then the bottom section where it says excerpt is that section there. So uh, I'm just going to say flat design. Right, I'll show you how to do um, a normal image for now, and then I'll show you how to do a video and then a slide. So, you add some content. Uh, I'm just going to go and copy and paste this is what I've already done in another place. Just some words, nothing special. Now, for a, you've got a client's name as well. So, if I click on this. You've got the category which is in, then you've got the client's name. Uh, your share buttons come automatically, so don't worry about that. So I'm just going to put UBL Designs. Um, these are where you get your slideshow, YouTube video, or your Vimeo. I'm only going to use a single image for now, just to show you what it's like. Select a camera category, and on Featured Image, go to your image, and I'll just upload an image, and we'll use that one. And we'll publish. So now, if I go over, our first image is in place. Portfolio one, flat design. If I click on it, it's on the left hand side. Now, you have two sides, and it's your sidebar placement. So I've clicked on the left, I'll show you what it looks like on the right. So I'll update it, I'll go off to that, and now it's on the right hand side. Simple as that. So, and the best thing about it is now we've got an item on our front page because remember it was there was no item because there's no portfolios. Each one comes with its own icon, 
as it's a single photo it comes with a camera so let's head off to the portfolio now I'll copy and paste that because I'll do that for the next one as well add a new one portfolio 2 and we'll call this icon design even though it's not going to be an icon design you get the idea right for this one I'm going to do a slideshow I'll keep it on the left and I'll keep the client as myself so you build his eyes right you always need um, a featured image always can't get away from it so featured image stick in that and then for a slideshow you start using these and you've got f uh, five more options I'm going to use just one just to show you what it's like and then just insert into the page make sure it's always on full um, the coding I've done make sure that it, the image is, in, is never that big so don't worry about that it's not going to be a massive page load but make sure that's on full um, you can add more images if you want them I'm not, go I'm not going to this time because it's a little tutorial so update it and there's our second item and we have a look inside and it's now a slideshow and the same on the home page look now I've got a second image and now we've got a rotating sign to say that it's a slideshow next up I'll show you a video so we go to a new one portfolio I'll call this video and then we'll call this multimedia video which I know multimedia is multimedia we'll put in another image and we'll upload another and we'll put in that one I'll do a uh, YouTube this time um, and then I'll do a Vimeo next time so click that on right keep that on UVL designs now for your YouTube video let's head off to YouTube so I can show you what exactly what it's like um, when you go to these uh, pick a video I'm just going to pick one at random that one will do oh sorry I've picked a, an actual person rather than a video let's just type in uh, web design let's keep something in matter here we go uh, something which remotely resembles yeah that looks quite good I'll go on to this now the URL is uh, you can't see it but it's youtube.com and it's four slash video and it's a question mark V equals and then it gives you a code it's the code you need so I'll, I'll copy and paste the code so you can see it so the code it gives you the URL it gives you at the top is that you need to remove everything from that equal sign onwards that is your YouTube video so if I update update this I click on the video and the video appears and vice versa on the front you now get a nice little video sign to show that it's working so head off to there I'll show you one last one and um, which will be a Vimeo one so uh, portfolio item Vimeo Vimeo video and then click Vimeo UVO designs got to do an image unfortunately or fortunately it's always good to have an image visually pleasing Right, if we go off to Vimeo, I'll show you what it's like. Vimeo. Right, go to watch. I'll go to groups purely because I'm using Creative Commons to show them in my demos. So I'm just going to pick one, that one will do. D2 will do. Right, you can't see the URL, so I'm going to copy and paste as normal. 
the URL it gives you is that so everything from this trailing slash back so all you have is the ID so we've got Vimeo we've got everything selected P press publish and there's our other item and there's the video um, and then on the front page the video is signed again um, that's it for this tutorial the next tutorial is going to be regarding the blog how to set up the blog um, left and right uh, which will be di di diving into the theme options slightly um, but I'm not going to go into too much depth because that's another tutorial so I'm going to show you how to get the, the left column the right column I'm going to show you how to do a right sided column inside or a left hand column I'm also going to show you how to do a no column if you don't want, don't want a side co uh, sidebar um, I'll show you how to do normal images, Vimeos, sliders, audios and YouTube clips so I'll see you in, in that tutorial <laughs>